Good morning, everybody. It's Minnie and Co. here, and I'm back in Massachusetts with more Vengeance. Home from vacation. And today I'm doing a review on on Mo Willems' Knuffle Bunny, A Cautionary Tale. If you don't know what A Cautionary Tale is, I'll tell you what A Cautionary Tale is. A Cautionary Tale is a story with the purpose, the author's purpose is to warn somebody about something. And in this story, it warns about losing your prized possession. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So here it is, Knuffle Bunny, A Cautionary Tale by Mo Wilms. In 2005, this book won a Caldecott honor for great illustrations. And, God, so, here's the spine, nice green cover in the back. Now let me tell you the story. It talks about a, a one or two year old little girl named Trixie and her daddy, who are based off the real Mo Willems, is actually the real dad of Trixie. They're going to the laundromat, but Trixie release, really leaves Knuffle Bunny behind. Because she can't speak yet, she just says nonsense until her mom replies, where's Knuffle Bunny? Then they go back to the laundromat and then Knuffle Bunny appeared. And Knuffle Bunny, get this, Knuffle Bunny were Trixie's first words. So, this is one of my favorite Mo Willems books of all time. My favorite in the Knuffle Bunny series is probably the third one. My least favorite is probably the first one. Because this one, the book, in my opinion, was kind of rushed. I could have seen it like a little more like they did with the sequel and third, with the second and third books. But, oh well, what are you going to do? So, folks, that's pretty much it about this review on Mo Willems' Knuffle Bunny, A Cautionary Tale. I hope you guys stay tuned for my next video on Mo Willems' Knuffle Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity. Peace out.